Hello everyone, today's video is a range report on this tire L9A1 and I can tell you I had no malfunction whatsoever, the gun did extremely well and you don't have to take my word for it because I have a few videos to show you but after coming back from the range even so the gun was holding extremely well in my hands I think the gun is slightly too slick to handle and so I put that uh, inner tube it's grossly done but it does a very good job and when I decide to keep the gun which I think I will I will staple the frame or maybe I will keep the inner tube because it does not affect anything on the gun but anyway what to look into the range video first the way I start shooting it is a ready position for still challenge which is a surrender position that's why my two hands are above my shoulders and I try to practice of what I do in competition so you will see me do that now my handgun does not have a holster yet so I will put it into my inside well appendix really on my pants you will see and and it works out it was not the, the most comfortable or the safest but it worked out really well what to look on the gun well first my grip once I have my grip on the gun you will see that compared to guns that are either too short in the grip or too slick or uncomfortable you will see shooters shoot the gun and reposition their handgun because the grip has been lost and they are going to shoot again and they are going to reposition their handgun and every shot they are going to do that well either it's a bad grip or a handgun that does not fit their hand in that particular case the grip is so small is so perfect that I have an excellent grip and this will transfer to the gun moving extremely little during shooting you will see the slide moving and the gun coming back very very little movement the sight as well once I am on target I can make my shot and you will see the gun finding the target or I will say you will see the sight finding the target very quickly so extremely good sight but anyway I'm not going to board you any longer just showing you an, a gun I'm going to show you some range footage now that single target is about 10 inches at about 12 13 yards you can see I had it right there on my sight the next two targets the one on the left about 10 yards 8 inches the one on the right about 12 yards 10 inches I only have about two 250 rounds through that gun so it's still some something I'm learning and one feature is of course when you put in the uh, magazine on the gun the slide will close automatically and you can see the sights finding the target I have a few misses either I go too fast or I will think I don't know the gun that well look at the slide look at the gun well don't look at the brass it's more like a Glock and I blame it on my very weak ammunition it's a competition ammunition like a white box Winchester yeah. look at this close-up of the slide naturally come back on target I love the way that gun is shooting different view now look at the slide we can see it the best on this uh, video the gun is not moving was shooting at some paper target so it was a uh, slow shooting
the gun is moving a bit more now because I don't care about the follow-up shot. All I care was uh, being on target. Again, the uh, feature of the gun, put in a magazine and the slide. My sights find the, the target very, very quickly. So again, the target on the left is about 10 yards. 12 yards on the right, an 8 inches target on the left and 10 on the right. Look at the slide again. We're gonna stay on target. And this last video, the last two videos, it's quick shots on the 10 inch target at 10 yards. This gun comes back on target very, very nicely. Again, another video. This is the Range report on the L9. I think this is a keeper. I think this is a really, really, really exceptional handgun. Again, one of the best five polymer handgun. Give it a try. Go to Buds if you live in Louisville or Lexington, or I think they have a store now in Knoxville, Tennessee. Go try it. Well, well worth investing into. And because the A2 is coming out, the A1 is out of production. And that is why you can find some really good price on the A1. This one was under uh, 450. I've seen it at 430. As the new one probably will be, I will think 550. So a jump of about 100 bucks. And this was the full range report. Love the gun, shoots great. I can't wait to get uh, more familiar with the gun, few thousand rounds through it, but I highly believe this is a keeper after those uh, few shots at the range. Give it a try if you have an opportunity to do it. So until next time, see you guys.